It's the year 2000. There's this new technology called the internet. Everyone's talking about it. You get into a taxi and the taxi driver says to you, wow, I've just made so much money on the stock market right now. All of these dot-com companies, they're guaranteed to make you money. You don't think much about it. And a few days later, your barber, while you're getting your haircut, says to you, wow, did you see this? Pets.com has just gone through the roof. I'm making so much money on the stock market. Suddenly, you start thinking, I need to get in on this. So everyone's getting rich and I'm here like an idiot not getting rich. So you go home and start looking, how can I make money from this? How can I put my money into the stock market and make those gains? Because markets always go up. So finally, after everyone else, you pull the trigger, you put your money in, and this happens. And it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. It's described as nothing short of breathtaking, a points drop never before seen on the US market. Fast forward a bit. The year is 2017. There's this amazing new technology called cryptocurrency. Bitcoin. Everyone's talking about it. You get in a taxi. The taxi driver says to you, you will not believe how much money I just made on Bitcoin. I bought it when it was 100. Now it's up to $9,000. You don't think about it because, ah, oh, okay, good for him, but I missed the boat. You wait a couple of weeks, you think, ah, oh, wow, that was cool. Maybe I missed the opportunity there, but it's too late now. You go to get your hair cut. You go to a barber's. And the barber says to you, have you seen this Bitcoin? Like I only heard about it recently when it was $9,000, but I jumped in and now it's up to $15,000. I've just doubled my money in a couple of weeks. Suddenly you start thinking, is this a new paradigm? Am I on the outskirts here? Why aren't I getting in this? Why don't I just jump in right now? Surely this is, this is a new technology. It's got to go up. Everything's going towards Bitcoin. And then this happens. What's up, gone? The money in your account, it didn't do too well, it's gone. What do you mean? I, I have $100! Not anymore you don't, poof! Bitcoin is continuing to tumble. It is now on track for its worst week in four years as it sheds thousands of dollars in value in, well, just a matter of hours. It's 2020. The world is on lockdown. There's no amazing new technology. No one can travel. No one can go out and spend, and unemployment is the highest it's ever been. Governments have started paying their citizens just to stay at home, and the stock market keeps going up. Suddenly, you go to get in a taxi. I don't know where you're going, but let's say you get in a taxi. <laughs> the taxi driver says to you, wow, you will not believe how much money I've made in the stock market. The recovery, the buy the dip that we've learned from the last 20 years, it just keeps working. All you have to do is buy the dip and eventually it all goes up. As we know, stock market can only go up. You think, okay, why, okay, this time I'm not gonna miss the boat. And you know what I'm gonna do? Because I missed out last time, I'm gonna jump in with a bit of leverage. And I've heard about these things called puts and calls and options. I'm gonna go for that because that's what everyone's making their money on right now. And I can get, I can, I can, I can put a call on with Robinhood, this app that's completely free. And then I can make crazy money in a short amount of time like all these guys are right now. Now is my time to jump in. The stock market keeps going up, keeps going up. Unemployment keeps going up. Governments keep locking down. And eventually, what can happen? It freaks me out! Ah! The point of this isn't to say that everyone that's in this right now is gonna lose all their money. I don't, I don't think that's true. I think a lot of people are making good money right now. And hopefully, I mean, definitely a lot of people are making good money right now. Hopefully, a lot of them will be able to hang on to a lot of that. Because if you continue playing this sort of game with leverage and options, and this is what a lot of people are doing right now, they're borrowing a lot of money to try and make money from the money they've borrowed. And in any sort of bubble, in any sort of boom, there has to be a bust. And if you're trying to, if you're getting addicted right now, which I think a lot of people are, to making that, that sort of money they can with borrowed money, well, they're gonna try and continue playing with that money even after the market starts going up and down and eventually down. 
This has happened a lot in history and it always ends the same way. Every single time there's this argument that oh we're in a new paradigm. Like the, previously for cryptocurrency it was this is a new paradigm. Bitcoin's going to take over the world. Financial markets are down. The, the market cap of Bitcoin is nothing compared to the market cap of the stock market so it has to continually go up. Didn't happen. The dot com, a lot of those companies did rise from the ashes and did become great companies but 90% of them didn't. And now, right now, the new paradigm is governments are pumping money into the stock market, the Fed in the US just keeps putting another 750 trillion or whatever into the stock market so it can't go down. There's always some sort of argument that this is the new paradigm and stock markets or any market can only go up. But eventually that can't be true. Eventually someone has to be left holding the bag and the main point of this is, is just try to make sure that's not you. There's, there's money to be made and there is always money to be made but when everyone is saying something and everyone is telling you to zig then maybe it's time to zag. There's a chance that we'll look back on this point in history, there's a chance that we'll look back on 2020 and say wow that was the year that Warren Buffett got it completely wrong. That was the year that top market analysts and Wall Street were all wrong. And that was the year that Robinhood traders and every normal person that just wanted to dabble in the stock market got it right and everyone just made a killing and the whole dynamic, the whole paradigm shifted. It seems unlikely. It seems a lot more likely that Buffett, the experts, and everyone that you should be listening to is right and people like Dave Portnoy who's a great content creator by the way like he, he's actually really funny to watch and you should go check him out because why not and Wall Street Bets on Reddit there's a good chance that over time those people will be wrong the people on the internet who is debating who the better investor is right now myself or Warren Buffett it's no debate. I mean, it's no debate. I killed him. He's dead. I'm not saying this to fear monger. I still have money in the stock market. I still have money in gold. I still have money in crypto. It's just to say you have to identify when there could be a bubble and you have to know not to borrow money to get yourself into trouble when that bubble pops. You don't want to be the person left holding the bag while it goes down 90% or 50% or whatever it does and takes 10, 20 years to reach those all-time highs again. You don't wanna be that person that's left while everyone else has left the party, made their money, and you're there still trying to enjoy the party, but there's no party left. It's long gone. Don't be that guy. Make the money in the short term if you can, but think about what you wanna do with that for the long term. And look, I, I'm 100% not saying to not put your money into markets. I'm 100% not saying to put it into cash because there is still opportunities to be made. And there's the classic saying, the market can stay irrational much longer than you can stay solvent. These, these things can continue for a long time. Uh, there's no way you can predict it. But what you can do, as I've said in other videos, is continually dollar cost average in. And if you're doing that, you're always getting the average price. Markets always go up in the long term, even if it's the very, very long term. Um, but if you're always dollar cost averaging in into any asset, then you'll get the long term returns. That's it. <laughs> I wanted to say my piece. Uh, maybe we'll look back on this in a year and think, wow, I got it completely wrong. The stock market only goes up. All hail Dave Portnoy, our new billionaire investor guru. And maybe. I'll look back on it in a year's time and think, wow, I, I got that right, but I didn't back myself enough to take all my money out of the stock market. But I do also believe that market timing 100% of the time is impossible. So I, I don't, even if it's my bias, I don't want to fall into my bias because that could be wrong. But let's see. It's my opinion. Let's see. Hello, this is Financial Advice, yada yada yada, it's just for entertainment purposes, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.